you guys old enough to remember the full moon, half moon, first of the fifth thing, the Jaffa Cake? Yeah. Hi everyone, in the name of science, we are boldly going where some have presumably gone before and finding out which biscuit dunks the best in whiskey. We've got some black and gold bourbon here and an array of biscuits. We've got digestives, rich teas, uh, ginger nuts. Yeah, a little hobnob. Jaffa Cake, Oreo, party ring. What have I missed? I've um, lost count, to be honest. Bourbon, shortbread. We've got all the classics. Everything you find in the supermarkets. So, in yeah. short, welcome to Biscuits and Bourbon. Uh, yeah, whiskey. Let's, let's do some whiskey. <laughs> Get some whiskey in my glass, please. Yes. Oh, my God. Some hot pouring action there. Oh. So, we thought this through very long, very hard. Um, and we decided that we would probably start with a rich tea because we think it'll hold up pretty well. And let's be honest, it's the plainest of all the ones that we figured. So we're gonna keep our palate nice and fresh. No offense to all of the rich tea ultras out there, but you know. Okay, well, <laughs> do we? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Oh God, this is the best one I've ever done this. Yeah, same. I guess you just get it right in there and go for it. It's very sturdy. I have to be honest with you, I don't like it very much. No. Oh no. It's sort of like, eh. rich tea doesn't give any flavour. Mm. So it's just quite alky. It's just a sort of a, yeah, a sort of a damp, very alcohol heavy biscuits. Yeah. Although now it's now I've eaten it, it's actually growing on me. I was just gonna say the finish is actually quite nice. It grows on you a little bit. Maybe it needed a lot of the dunk. Hmm. Hmm. I take it back. I think if you get a whiskey on it and a bit not, and sort of the half and half mm. works quite well. Mm -hmm. I'm alright with it. Yeah. And it held I'm up. Sorry for what I said. Structurally, probably mm. we've done rich tea badly there, but we've atoned. <laughs> we've seen the error of our ways. Mm. Cool. Should we give it like a rating? Like a six? Mm. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. It's all gone pizza. A six. I mean, given it's first biscuit, it's quite hard because I've no. We can adjust I the have scale no baseline. To go. But I would say I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So probably like a 6.4. A 6.4? We're doing decimals. Okay, fine. It's just quite hard to stick to a whole number. 6.4. All right, cool. I think right. we can keep going. Yeah. Um, Definitely. Look, also. The structure test, no yeah. biscuit in here. Not a single We can reuse this bourbon. Biscuit debris. Perfect. Okay. What do we think next? Shortbread or digestive? Ooh. Shortbread. Shortbread. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling this might not hold up structurally very well. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, and I reckon this is gonna... I might leave it for a long dunk though, because it's quite a thick mm. biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, I can see it's coming from the glass, but it's covered in sugar. So it's okay, true. Okay, that's long enough. Wow. Okay. Oh my <laughs> god, I'm slightly worried about this now. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Maybe a shorter jump was needed. Oh my god, yeah. Like a boozy biscuit. I feel like a bit of a trend of this is it's going to be quite overwhelming at first. And then afterwards, mm. you'll start to see the light a little bit. Mm. I'm going to go in for a second dunk. Yeah. But a quick one. Then a double? Double dunk. I feel like I'm doing that thing, you know, when people get filmed in films and they should never actually eat the food they're eating, but I'm fully eating this. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I do just love shortbread, though. Yeah, I, I was going to say, it's slightly weighted by how much I love shortbread. I don't know, it just feels right with whiskey, doesn't it, shortbread? Yeah. As a pairing, usually. Oh, but this feels almost sacrilege to have it with bourbon and not some sort of scotch. I was just thinking that, too. But... Mm. It's quite nice. I'm not sure I prefer it to the rich tea though. I was also thinking that, and I thought this would be my favourite. Mm. 5.8. I agree. 5.8. There you go. I took the words out of my mouth. But, look at that. Contaminated. I yeah. mean, to be honest, we could probably use it. I mean, I'm happy to, to persevere. It's all at the bottom, but... so it's fine. Mm. Um, It's digestive time. It's right digestive, now. yes. Very partial to a digestive, Me so too. this might be a... A plain digestive just hits really well. It, well. it really does. It's only just getting in the glass as well. well. Yeah, I broke mine. Um, oh, that's good thinking, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I drink them in tea all the time. Mm. 
Oh, it's not your first radio. I'm gonna I'm gonna do shorter dunks, I think. Oh my word, I think I've yeah, that looks very soggy. <laughs> oh my god, that's absorbent. Mm. Oh god, it's really strong. Oh wow. Um <clears> hmm. <throat> it's amazing how much the biscuits <laughs> accentuates the alcohol. I really think that would be the case. I thought like more flavour would come through. It just mm. it really makes the whiskey just booze initially. I have to say, this is the weakest so far. Yeah, that was terrible. Oh my god, I really thought that'd be good. I thought I was gonna have to like <laughs> rein in I'm my digestive love. I'm gonna the rich tea rating. <laughs> well, this let's is see. too absorbent. It's just like pure ethanol almost. Yeah. I'm so sad. I'm gonna palate cleanser. Oh my god. No, I've got a little bit more. Jesus. Well. No, really poor. Hmm. Four, three, three point nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even make the four mark. Wow. But I think alongside a whiskey, possibly much better. Mm. Okay. I'm out. Alright. Cleanse the palate. Yeah, oh yeah, cheers. Um, I don't know where to go from here. I wonder maybe a party ring. I like that shout. Yeah. Cool. It's only party ring or hobnob mix. Let's isn't get it? the Let's party, party started. Do we have high hopes? Um no. <laughs> I mean, like but it's got a lot of sugar. Yeah. So maybe that'll be good. But then also not absorbent. Yeah, I'm. It's quite glossy, which might help its case. Mm. No, that's better. It's better than the digestive. I like that, but I think the sugar cuts. I'm going in for a second dunk, which I think does show it's quite good actually. Because mm. the sugar takes off the edge of like the pure alcoholness that seems to happen when you put whiskey in a biscuit. Yeah, it's the biggest takeaway so far. It's crazy. It really is just Maybe so it's much like they booze. taste so sort of similar. Maybe. That it all just merges into one and then you just get a whack of alcohol at the end. Yeah, I'm intrigued to see what the chocolatey biscuits do. Mmm. Mmm. I think I got a 6.2. Yeah? Was that higher than the rich tea? No. That was 6.4, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Mm, actually, no, I like that. That's my favourite so far. I'm not sure. I, I still think the rich tea might edge that. Mm. Let's revisit. Mm. We'll go back to party room and rich teas at the end, definitely, I think. They deserve another go. Mm. Um, it's time to get the chocolate involved. I'm not just hungry. Um, okay. So, oh, oh, so we, are we doing oh, hobnob? Oh, no, it's hobnob time. It's hobnob. Yeah, okay. Hob Hobnobs, of course, being famous for being an outstanding dunker in terms of, you know, structural but that's integrity. that's so, so absorbent as well, though. Yeah. As, which I'm scared for. Big biscuit fans will know. But do you know what? I feel like by the end of this, the whiskey's going to be gone. Like, we'll just have, like, absorbed it all into a biscuit. Yes. I feel like mine's looks a lot more debris. Than this, but... <laughs> I'm a... I'm a classy eater. Mm. Yeah, no one's ever said that about me. Okay. <laughs> okay. And we've got to cheers them. It's too late now. Oh, no worries. Mm. Wow. I just said I was a classy eater, and then oh I it everywhere. Oh my goodness! I feel like I could How much fire. whiskey is in this biscuit? Like I don't understand. God no. Mm. Basically, all the ones that are the best for tea are really bad for this. No, I think that's that's not far off the rich tea though. That give it a second, it's mm. much better. No, on the end it's really nice. I just think it needs. You need to like have a half and half bite of whiskey and biscuit, otherwise it's just too much. Yeah. Or I'm going to do like a half a second dunk. How? Mm. Just give it a shake. I like it. Mmm. This is more. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. Mm. This is good. It just matches the flavours really well, doesn't it? It's buttery, I think. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm. That's the first time I think something else has been brought out in the biscuit by the whiskey. Mm. Other than the versa. general sweetness of the party ring. Yeah, that was just all sugar, though. Mm. Oh my god, you, have you finished the pop knob? Mmm. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to have that first dunk, because that was too much, but this is good. I mean, mm. I've eaten the whole thing, so... That's There's your review. It's got to be a 10. I think that's, what, maybe a... Uh, 7, 8... Interesting. Mm. Seven, seven point seven. That's high. Yeah. Too high? No, I think that's about right. Okay. It's not quite an eight because that would be very good. But mm. I take it back. Best so far. Yeah, I liked it. Good. Okay. Okay. Out of the chocolate ones, which one would you like? I'm thinking. Well, so we've got bourbons. 
excuse me, we've got bourbons, bourbons here, we have bourbons there, we have mm. Oreos, we have Jaffa cakes, and we have ginger nuts left. Yeah. So, what do you reckon? Bourbon? Thank you very much. Bourbon and bourbon. bourbon. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a short dunk. This whiskey does look quite gross. Yeah, I might, um, I might. I'm scared. Bin this and then go, go again. I think it's, it's We can do that. We can do better. Yep. What a fun way to spend a Thursday afternoon for anyone in life. <laughs> okay. It's a tough drill. We've got to do it. Yes. Grant. Right. Okay. Okay. Bourbon time. <clears throat> Cheers. Short done. Short and sweet is what mm -hmm. we've learned. Yep. I think my dunk was too short. No, that was good. Yeah, it's nice though. I felt like the biscuits dominating a little bit too much. Come back. <laughs> I felt like the biscuits dominating a little bit too much. I'm going to go again. Do a little bit of a longer dunk for this one. Structurally though, holding up very well. No? The longer you give it, the alcohol just really overpowers it. Mm. Mm. I think this is quite a good balance of like sweet from the filling and biscuitiness from the biscuit. Yes. Where you bring out the biscuit and the whiskey and then the sugar just keeps it all not from getting too much in your mouth. Whereas like the digestive was did not have that. No, at all. no, not at all. Nice. Good. Mm. I like it. I think that's like a solid seven and a half. Yeah, I think so. Seven point Four. I'm liking the sort of random little. I, what I like about that is the chocolate's still coming through really nicely, but it's not. Mm. Um, it's not overpowered. Mm. Feels like feels like there's something happening with the whiskey and the biscuits, mm -hmm. and that's not really happened yeah. loads so far. Less than I thought it would. It's been fumey and biscuity rather than yeah whiskey biscuit. Mm. I think maybe it's time for an Oreo. Yeah. Cool. Intrigued about this one. Mm. Actually, not that dissimilar Cheers. to a bourbon, really. God, they're sweet, aren't they? I know. Oh, no, way sweeter. Mm. Oh, we need to, like, twist it, don't we? Oh. Oh, I, I tell you what, you twist and I won't. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Okay. I twist it and then I lick it. Twist it, lick it, dunk it? Hmm. <laughs> ah, it's all broken. Oh, I'm excited to see what you think. That's do quite I, do I dunk the bit that I've licked? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. We're not Oreo experts. Um, do I put you it back can definitely trust again? us on whiskey and stuff. Just don't. <laughs> I've got, not I've got four bits of Oreo. <laughs> no, genuinely. Oh, it's, all, it's all gone ping tong. All right. Well, maybe we'll do the Oreo bit again. Um, <laughs> you don't know what I'm doing. Um, I twist it and I lick it. And I dunk it and I put it back together. Mm -hmm. You lick the cream bit. Yeah. Okay. And then dunk it. Yes. And then stick it back together. Good. I got there in the end. Okay. <laughs> I, think, I think we can keep all that in. That was great. That was classic TV. That's... I actually really I don't like, like this. I don't like it. No? I don't think I drank it for long enough. Mm. The thing is, that's such an overpowering flavour as it's a biscuit. perhaps too sweet. It's really sweet. It's really chocolatey. I feel like the whiskey's just not really playing a part at all. No. So it's a nice biscuit still. I think it's too artificial. Mm. Yeah, I think so too. Mm. No, like a five, three. Really? That low? Would not Oreo and bourbon again, but okay. I can't get this right. Mm. All right. Mm. What, three point Ooh. eight? <laughs> okay. Maybe I just don't like Oreos. Well, we're coming up to the one I don't like, which is Jaffa Cake. So I know that's sacrilege to some people. But I love a Jaffa Cake. I'm Although, this will be like, because it's, you know. Oh, yeah, this is so soft. Mm. Okay. Right. Well, cheers. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Mm. I do have a feeling that um, this might be really weird. Yes. I'm embracing that. Let's do the weirdness. I like that. Weirdly, like it's not fumey. No, you're right. That's Ooh, yeah. um, this... that's taken the alcohol probably best of all of them in terms of. This is very interesting. Not just tasting like alcohol, basically. Mm. 
I would do that again. Yeah. That's probably the first time I've ever actually enjoyed a Jaffa cake. That might break the eighth mark. Yeah. Yeah, I'm into it. I like it a lot. I think it's 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 works. It's got like three or four flavours in it itself. Mm-hmm. And then with the whiskey. Yeah, I like it. Mm-hmm. Good. Fair enough. 8.1. 8.1, we're thinking. 8.1 for that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Woo, last but not least, it's ginger snap time. And I, this could be it'd go either way. I love a ginger nut, you know. Um, ginger nut, oh, that's so good. Mm. Such a great smell, I'm scared. <laughs> I want this and to be nice. Ginger is such a classic flavour in whiskey, and you know. Uh. Cheers. How rude of me. You took a breath there like it was a moment. I like <laughs> I'm ready. Mm. God, no. whoa! The ginger claws it back, oh. but my tongue is a little bit on fire. Oh my god, it's so boozy at first, it's so boozy, wow. It's It somehow was like really strong and structural, but also so absorbent at the same time. So yeah, pretty good for that. Oh my god, okay. That's not how I feel about. I actually don't think that's very good. Oh my god! Structurally not good. It's structurally not good. I don't think that's very good, you know. It, it tastes of ginger at the end, which is obviously what you want from a ginger nut, but I don't think in a good way. I don't know. That feels like the whiskey takes away from it a little bit for me. But, but you said it's like, it tastes like whiskey and biscuit, not whiskey and biscuit. Mm. Oh, I can't believe the Jaffa cake was the front runner. Nobody I, predicted I'm that. I'm slightly wondering if we do a, a bit of a Olympic sort of style um, third, second, first between the Jaffa cake, the rich tea, and the party ring. Yeah. Give them all another go, and then we can place them on a little <laughs> thing here. We'll, the biscuit podium. Yeah, we'll, t- we'll pile up some digestives or something as a... Mm. Okay, so... Oh, two more party uh, what would we get the ginger nut? I think... Oh, four something? Well, I, I didn't rate I it. I think it could make a five, but that is just because ginger nuts are nice. Yeah. Mine maybe like a 4.7 with a whiskey. Yeah, okay, 4.7. I just can't 4. decide on the whole number. I think it's, it's too broad. So, right now, we've, we've put, oh, hang on. No, I think Bourbon needs to be in the top three, not Party Ring. Oh, God. But oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Hobnob's higher as well. Rich Tea and, and... yes, excuse me. No, okay. I think Rich Tea got a duff thing because we yeah. did it first. I agree. Okay, actually, do you know what? I think, no, let's do, a, let's do a top five and we'll make a top three from them. So our, in fifth, we had Party Ring with 6.3. Fourth was Rich Tea with 6.4. Third was Bourbon with 7.4. Second was Hobnob with 7.7. And first was Jaffa Cake with 8.1. So let's see if we're... This is interesting to hear back what I thought. Yeah. In the moment. Yeah, well, it's interesting that I just didn't even clock that we were... What we voted for as our favourite. One, two, three, four, wait. And, and we're then missing a... a bourbon. bourbon. Dos Bourbons. <laughs> as they say. As they say, yeah. They, they say that to me all the time. Um, right. So... Party ring was last, so let's do, should we do it in that order? Fifth to, and see what we think? Yeah. Yeah? I don't know if this is running ridiculously long in the video, but you know, here we are. This, this is what science is. Cheers. I'm full. I'm quite full. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> yeah, lunch might be skipped. Um, okay. I don't think you should skip lunch. <laughs> it is good. It is good. It is, it's quite structurally sound. It's really sweet. It's so sweet, I don't think the alcohol has a chance to like overpower it. I do know what you mean. It's like bearable. It's just sort of washing off it almost. Probably. Not I sure. still think that's fifth. We haven't tried the others. I know, I know, I know. Okay, place hold a fifth. We're not going to rate them here. We're mm-hmm. just going to be first. Anyway. Okay. If we're top five, that's so indecisive. You're okay. Well, we'll do a top three. We have to rule out what it is. So. What was next? Was it? Rich tea. Rich tea. Oh, thank you. I think ladies first. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Cheers. Short bugs. I hope this is as nice as I remember it. I think I might have built it up in my head. Mm. It, it is boozy at first. It no, is. this is good. It is boozy, but it, it, it definitely comes round. This is like almost the opposite of the Jaffa cake, where 
because there's almost nothing going on here. Mm. But actually, it holds its own pretty well. It does. It's not bad just because it's plain. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I still like it. I think this might have to move up in the rankings, to be honest. Really nice. Like, it's genuinely really nice. Mm. I think this might be a hobnob. Yeah, I think that might be right. Which I believe is next. Is it? No, Bourbon is next. Okay. Apparently, we rated mm. Bourbon higher. Thank you. There's something hilarious about printing the name of the biscuit on the biscuits. Um, Strong branding. I know, yeah. No, I don't okay. Have done it. Well, cheers. I'm scared of over dunking. Mm. See, I don't think that's better than rich tea. No. It's not, is it? It's nice still. Mm. But it's, it's just. better not... than the party ring. No. I, no, I'm not sure, you know. That might be the worst of the ones we've retried. Mm. But it's not bad. It's very chocolatey. It's still nice. There's good structural integrity. It's just not... Yeah. Not doing much for me. It's not taking on really any of the whiskey. Mm. Any None meaningful of the good way. Bits. No. In a meaningful way. No. Yes. There's nothing soulful about this. Okay, Bourbon. I think you might have yeah. lost a few places. I think so. It's out of the top. The top running, I think. So now it's Hobnobs. Right. Sorry, the, the, the digestives I was putting there to stack this is on the end. It's <laughs> quite, quite confusing. Um, okay. Yeah, you're not in this digestives. <laughs> <laughs> You've lost already. This is where we found out like, the sound and works and all of this or something. Um, all right. <laughs> I can't do it again. <laughs> do <Duple. laughs> mm. mm. It's not doing as much for me as I thought it might. The Brilliant. butteriness is great. The butteriness is great. But it's just very, very boozy at first. We're still very much on that thing of I think you want to have a bit in the whiskey and a bit not yeah. when you bite it. No. I think rich tea was robbed. Like you say, it was first. So we had to sort of work yeah. forward from that. Um, I think this might be third for me. That's exactly what I was going to say. I think this is better than Bourbon and Party Ring, though. I don't think it's better than Reach Tea. And I think Jack Kick might still take the crown, but we'll just have another one just to check. Yes. In the name of science. Cheers. To the winner. Full moon, half moon. So it's looking at the sun. <laughs> I was just a sort of prey to yourself back from the Jaffa Cakes, isn't it? That's... You don't even like them. Well, I've seen the adverts <laughs> about 20 years ago. Why is it so good? Like I'm not getting ethanol at all. No, only once completely killed the ethanol, isn't it? Say it again. It's a cake. It's a cake. Oh, oh so that is the point. So I guess technically people would say that this is a cake. No, but legally, isn't it a biscuit? VAT wise. Legally, it's a cake. Oh, well who put it in this bourbon and biscuit selection? Oh, it's bourbon and biscuits. Oh, we've been... <laughs> Have we just chosen a cake we've as been, our top We've biscuit? been undermined. It's been a ruse the entire time. Um, you can't see this, but behind the camera, there are people who are laughing at us. Uh, okay. It is a cake. I don't know what... For, oh. the, for the, the court case, they just baked a massive jacket cake to prove it was cake because the VAT is less. Jammy. Yeah, okay. Well, so do we have to now. disqualify them? That feels really harsh after all this. Do you know what? No, I love it. It's a great twist at the end. Fuck it. <laughs> Well, you're out. Jack. Maybe it goes to show that biscuits dipped in whiskey aren't very good. Yeah, so well, that are we've, good? we've now set up a new series which is cakes dip, dipped in whiskey and we'll return the Jaffa cake. But I think we have to disqualify it on the basis that it's not biscuits. And I can't believe neither of us realised that until now. What a dramatic twist at the end. Um, so, we, uh, so is it the Rich Tea? I can't believe we were set up. Ironically, Rich Tea will have won. I can't believe this. This is just so good, I'm so annoyed. The thing is, is that, yeah, I know, I'm. I'm... I can't think anymore. <laughs> I'm so full. Well, there you have it. In okay. a, an absolute turn up to the books. On our first podium. Our winner is Humble Rich Tea. The Humble Rich Tea. Has I done it. was, no one would have seen this. No. Unless it was rolling well before I thought it was. But I was really not having high hopes for the Rich Tea. So I'm going to have to swallow my pride and put it first place. Yep, agreed. Can I ask you a question? Do you think that you should be dunking biscuits in, in Berlin? Has that, has that, is this something you would do from now on after this experiment? No. No, me either. That was science. <laughs>
Probably we did it so you don't have to. To do all kinds of um, mad crap in the future. Possibly cakes next. Maybe they'll never let us put anything to film again. I would say um, cheers, but I won't be drinking this. No, that is <laughs> quite disgusting. Um, but there you go, biscuits and bourbon. <laughs> For lunch.